My name is Anshul Sharma and I'm the co-founder of Redwing. Redwing is a full-stack drone delivery company based out of Bangalore. We're a 100-member team based out of a high-tech aerospace and defense park where we design, build, and operate drone deliveries at Skinny. Our journey got started in 2019 with the Vaccines Drone Delivery Program in Papua New Guinea. From there, we started to build hybrid VTOL drones for six applications. We have three hybrid VTOL drones. Typically, our drones get carry anywhere from about 2 kgs to about 8 kgs of payload and uh, have a range of um, up to 120 kilometers. Uh, these aircrafts take off like a helicopter and then move like an airplane. Our focus is really on, on, is on redundancy and reliability. Uh, we have a dedicated test site in Bangalore where we do high volume drone testing. We design our own ports to increase reliability. We build our own flight service applications, which are required for a drone to do delivery at a remote location. We have precision landing, which enables the drone to really land at really tight spaces. And we have redundancies in control surfaces to redundancies in, in other parts of the aircraft uh, system as well. Currently, we're operational in Arunachal Pradesh, Odisha, and Chhattisgarh. We've been delivering healthcare products from the district hospital to the primary health centers. And drones are playing a very major role in enabling healthcare access in these primary healthcare centers. What drones are fundamentally doing in, in healthcare is that they're able to bring care closer to the PHCs so that patients don't have to travel due to these drone deliveries which are happening in rural areas. Our hope is that we can solve more of these uh, logistics challenges which exist into other sectors as well with the use of drones. And the core area for us which we'll be focused on will be to make drone delivery really a solution which can be they were seen across India in different terrains and in different geographies. So we design, build and operate drone delivery systems to enable logistics access to factory reach areas. One of the redundancies are on the control surface itself, um, which means that there is redundancy built into a different control surfaces of the aircraft. There is also a LiDAR system which is on board the aircraft itself, which basically allows it to land at undulating surfaces. At the same time, we have GPS systems and other subsystems as well. These hybrid VTOL aircrafts we've been flying since almost 2022 onwards. So they have seen a vintage of more than two years now. We've flown them in light rain to very sunny weather to the challenging hills of Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, to the sunny weather of Odisha. Uh, at the same time, these drones, while they're starting at you know 80 to 100 kilometers per hour, they're also able to maintain cold chain, which is critical for diagnostic samples, for vaccines, for majority of the healthcare products that we deliver to our patients. We're able to cover about 50 kilometers in about 30 minutes, even when there is fog or there is no visibility uh, where traditional supply chains are not able to deliver. Hybrid VTOL drones are able to cut through low visibility areas as well to make those deliveries happen and enable care for our patients at the last mile point. So right around 2013, when Amazon announced the Prime Day program that drone delivery is going to be mainstream, 2014 onwards, we started to see a lot of competitions basically pop up from there on. So right around 2018, 2019, we started to see that drone deliveries in healthcare was starting to make a lot of impact. And it was going from a niche solution to a scaled up solution. And we felt that that was the right point of time for us to get into the space. So that's how our journey really got started. As we're seeing that India has a lot of logistics challenges, which cannot be solved by traditional logistics, where drones is absolutely the right solution to solve for, right? Whether it is delivering in the Himalayan regions uh, to the northeastern mountains, to delivering in very farther locations, in the central regions to delivering maybe in dense urban cities as well, right? All of these logistics challenges requires us to access the third dimension. And uh, that is where our focus will be to build systems which are able to have that sort of reliability and redundancy at scale so that we're able to solve these problems and create a meaningful impact uh, in this sector.